This is lesson 19 of 20 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. If you stumbled into this lesson first, I recommend that you watch the entire course, or at least watch from lesson 13. You'll find a link to this or the course playlist somewhere on this page. This lesson introduces you to Joomla extensions. Joomla provides all the functionality you need for a simple site. But if you require some specific functionality, you can often find what you need at the Joomla extensions directory. In this lesson, I'll take you through this directory and show you how to download and install an extension. The first thing to understand is that there are three main types of Joomla extensions. The biggest type is a component, and you might like to think of this as an application. They usually provide some sort of comprehensive functionality, such as an e-commerce store, a site backup solution, or a directory. Joomla comes with some components, and you'll find these under the Components menu. Modules are the second type of extension, and these were discussed in Lesson 16. Modules are placed into template positions and can be set to display on all pages or just pages you specify. Finally, there are plugins. Depending on their function, they might just work in the background or you might activate them by adding special code within an article or module. Extensions might include a combination of types. For example, the main functions of an e-commerce application would be found in a component. But it might also include modules, such as featured products, latest products and product categories. And it might have a plugin that publishes product information inside a normal Joomla article. The process of installing and configuring extensions is similar to templates. You need to find something suitable, download it, possibly extract the contents of the download, install the extension onto your site and configure it. Like templates, you need to read the developer documentation. But I'll now demonstrate three extensions, which will give you a good overview of the typical process. Third-party extensions are listed at the Joomla extensions directory which is found at extensions.joomla.org. You can search the directory or browse through this listing. The first one I'll grab is a component that adds a comments box below articles. This is a popular feature when creating a blog. I happen to know that the one I'm looking for is in the Contacts and Feedback category and then the Articles Comments subcategory. These pages usually contain several choices with a brief description of each and reviews and votes by other Joomla users. When you find something that sounds interesting, click on the title to learn more and download. Note that this particular extension is non-commercial, meaning it's free. Commercial extensions cost money and the amount developers charge varies enormously. As there are multiple versions of Joomla, you need to check that the extension you want is available for your version of Joomla. Ensure that the appropriate icon, in this case Joomla 2.5, appears next to the compatibility label. Now click the download button, which will take you to an appropriate page at either the developer's website or sometimes to a code library. You might need to hunt around a bit to find the download page.
and in some cases you need to register by completing a simple form in order to get access. If that's the case, you might also have to confirm your registration by clicking a link that is sent to the email address you specified. Then you log into the site using the details you provided and return to the download page. Naturally, if more than one version exists, make sure you download the version corresponding to your version of Joomla. At this point, you need to refer to any instructions by the developer, because like templates, extensions are sometimes installed using the initial file that was downloaded, or that file might need to be extracted first on your local computer. In this case, the process is to install the file that was downloaded, as will be demonstrated now. Go to Administrator and log in. Go to Extensions, Extension Manager. Choose the file that was downloaded. And click Upload and Install. Now you really do need to have a read of the instructions on how to use the extension. All extensions work differently and it's impossible to provide training on how to use all of them. However, there are some principles that you'll find helpful. Let's go ahead and use the extension that was just installed. When a component is installed, a menu item appears in Administrator under the Components menu. And that menu often includes a number of sub-menus. I'll click the main link here, which displays a control panel for this component. There is often a settings page, and this is usually where you start by entering data relevant to your site and configuring the extension to work as you desire. This particular extension doesn't need much to get it going, but there are a couple of things I'll need to do quickly to help demonstrate it. Now when I go to the front end and select an article, you'll see that it includes a box underneath where visitors can leave a comment. I'll quickly do that now. You can see that the comment now appears on the page. Components often require menu items to link to certain pages. For example, an e-commerce extension might have menu links pointing to product categories. This particular component works within article pages, so it doesn't need menu items. But it does include one, so I'll show you what I mean. In Administrator, choose a menu and add a new item. When you click the Select button and scroll through the options, you'll see that there is a new menu type under the Commento heading. Depending on the extension, there may be a lot of options available. Just like the core Joomla menu items, there may be additional settings to configure in the right column. This is explained further back in Lesson 15. In this case there isn't, so I'll save this. 
and look at the result on the front end. This menu item only works when the user is logged in, so I'll do that first. And now when I click this link, a comments profile is displayed. That's an overview of components, so now let's take a look at the second type of extension, modules. I introduced you to modules in lesson 16, so I'll go through this one quickly. An extension might include a mixture of components, modules and plugins. Or some extensions are just a module, as is the case in this example. This is a language module that allows a site visitor to change the page language. Once again, click download to go to the developer's site. Find the download page. And in this case, note that there are several variations of the extension. There are commercial versions that include more features and a free version, which is what I'll use for this demonstration. Download the file, ensuring that you match the extension version with your version of Joomla. Install it the same way. Go to Extensions, Extension Manager, choose the file on your local computer, and upload it. Then go to Extensions, Module Manager, find the module, and click it to enter edit mode. Work through the settings as demonstrated in the modules lesson. Give it a name and assign it to a position. Newly installed modules are often set to unpublished. So make sure you check this and publish it if necessary. Same with the menu assignment. This might be set to no pages. So change this so the module appears on your desired pages. In this case, I'll set it to all pages. You'll then need to refer to the documentation to discover how to best set any options in the right column. Save the module and check the result on the front end. The module now appears in the assigned position and this is how it works. The final extension option is a plugin, and the one I've chosen is a photo gallery extension that displays images that, when clicked, open in a pop up window. Once again, you click the download link. But this time, you're taken to a code library. You'll find that some free extensions are served this way, as it doesn't cost the developer anything to distribute the files. The only problem is that it isn't always obvious which file to get. In this case, the package is labelled Joomla 2.5, so that's the one to get. You download it by clicking the corresponding link in the Files column. The process is then the same. Download it and install. As you didn't end up on the developer's website, you might like to go back to the Joomla extensions directory, click the website link, 
and then read any documentation. Plugins are managed at Extensions Plugin Manager. Find the plugin and click it to enter edit mode. Like modules, it might not yet be active, so check that status is set to enabled. Then set any options in the right column and select save and close. Some plugins work in the background of a page, so all you need to do is enable them and possibly enter some settings. For example, you might find an extension that adds Google Analytics to the page code. In that case, it just needs to be configured and enabled, and then the code is added to each of your pages automatically. Other plugins, like this one, are activated within an article or module. Let's return to the article that was created in the Articles lesson. Click within the article at the point where you want the plugin to function. Then refer to the extension instructions to determine what to write. In the case of this extension, you enter an open bracket followed by a gallery and then close bracket. And the name of the folder in Media Manager that contains the photos to be displayed. Let's save this for the moment and return to Media Manager. Expand the Sample Data folder by clicking the Title and then the Parks folder to reveal a folder called Landscape. So the full folder path is Sample Data Parks landscape. Return to the article in Article Manager After the gallery code, enter the name of the folder path sample data forward slash parks forward slash landscape Finish by entering open bracket forward slash gallery close bracket. Save the article and then go to your front end and have a look at it. You'll see that a photo gallery has been inserted in the article at the position where the code was added. The default settings display three images with navigation links to the rest of the images in this folder. Clicking an image opens a larger version in what's called a light box. Once again, refer to the extension documentation for more details. You now know how to find an extension install it, as well as the three different types of extensions. There are thousands of extensions listed at the Joomla Extensions directory, but there are a few that we consider to be the best of the best, and these are listed on our resources page. Have a look now to learn how to get the most from your Joomla website. Visit www.buildajoomlawebsite.com and look for the link to resources. In the final lesson, I'll wrap everything up and give you some hints on where to go next.